All right, I'm gonna review Decate. I've had this. I've had this before. Uh, it's 65. It gets poor scores on Beer Advocate. Uh, it's 4.5 al alcohol by volume. And uh, um, when I was 19 and I went to Cozumel Island, Mexico, um, I got totally, totally, totally wasted. And uh, the primary thing I primary primary thing I got wasted off was this. Um, I've I have had it before, and when I have had it, I uh, I now do consider it as one of the one of the better uh, Mexican beers. You know, between Sol, Dos Equis, um, Corona, uh, Pacifico Clara, you know those. Um, this is, in my in my opinion, is probably one of the one of the one of the better ones. So let's 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 check it out. Good amount of smoke. See that? Nice smoke. Okay, we got about a finger white foamy head we got a golden sporadically bubbly body heads going down let's give it a smell it smells like grains of course maybe maybe some you know water volume out maybe so let's give it a taste It's very, very barley malty. Kind of a sweetness is there. Um, yeah, it's a definite sweetness. Um, not sweetness. It's not sweetness in the sense in the sense, sense of us of, of an ice beer, but more of like, you know, just an, an extra helping of barley malt. I would say. Some kind of grain does follow from that. Water does follow, and yeast does follow. Mm. It's a very, very straight, straightforward beer kind of flavor. Um, no, you know, no complications or, or, or anything like that. It's barley malt, grains, water yeast I would say it's very round um, it's it's very ballast it tastes like it's made it's made well um, that's my opinion feel it's very light it's like a normal Mexican light lager or lager um, very, very drinkable, very refreshing, carbonation is there, um, if I, if I drink enough of this, I'll, I will start burping, I'll bet, um, they do sell this in 40s, I think, or 32s, um, I'm not sure, but I know, I know that they, if they do sell this in a bigger bottle, um, so I'll probably buy that, buy that. I mean, I do enjoy these Mexican beers. I do enjoy Tecate better. You know, this is very good. I gotta give it a good, um, B+. Plus. I do enjoy it. Um, it's kind of more run-of-the-mill, though. That, there's a reason for me why it's not in the, in the A range. I just kind of have this feeling like Mexican beers are kind of just like just, just it's just so um, they're kind of like um, kind of run of the mill, not 
special, I wouldn't say. Um, <coughs> excuse me. There it is. They are just kind of, they have a special place in my heart, of course, but, you know, I mean, excuse me, I wouldn't, I, I think, I feel like they just are just kind of run-of-the-mill, not a whole lot different from lots of other things, uh, but I, I wouldn't, you know, they don't have, like, a big difference to me from other loggers. But to compare this to to the other Mexican loggers like Sol Tigate, or Sol Dos Equis, uh Corona, you know, and Pacifico Clara and uh, Modelo Special, um, I don't know. I would consider that Modelo Special and and Tigate to be the the the, the top two. Um, I have I have enjoyed the most in my life. The Modelo and the Tecate. I've never tried Negro Modelo, but I have had Modelo Special and Tecate. Those both are very, very good, and I do, and I have enjoyed enjoyed those. So, in the Mexican beer style, I would I would consider this like a a, a plus. Um, but for like other beers. The reason it's not in the in the A range is because it's doesn't have anything special to it that uh, that is like makes it different from other you know American lagers and even European lagers and such. Um, con con considering it as a lager, I guess. But I will buy. I will buy. I will buy this again. I do enjoy it. I ha I have for a while. So. Um, if you like Mexican beers, in my opinion, this and Mordello especially are the best ones.